Hi, the coronavirus pandemic has wreaked damage beyond calculation. Therefore, it's no surprise to see disaster capitalism making more than tenuative maneuvers. Think of the corruption, opportunities, profits, previously unthinkable to be extracted. Money for virtually nothing. The recent school meals lunches outrage. 21 million pocketed by one individual for supplying PPE. Most of it of dodgy quality. The vultures hover with it. National Health Service privatization becoming a favoured option of our government. Even now, speculators, asset strippers are eyeing up the high streets, already operating in hundreds of illegal sweatshops tied into overcrowded accommodation. Meanwhile, the construction of thousands of luxury flats continues. Contrary to all economic logic, property prices soar to stratospheric heights. The state, its apparatus, are also prospering. New, unconcessed laws nodded through. Police powers increasing almost daily. The already wealthy, well-off middle classes are increasing their fortunes in the midst of this coronavirus crisis. The working class, the vast majority, are out, who are outside this scenario, we are the perennial losers. Yet there's no sign of us fighting back, resistance, merely individual suffering and on a mass scale behind closed doors, out of sight, forgotten, abandoned, measured by the increasingly mental health casualties and suicides, with much worse to come. Those who are serious about overthrowing this unreformable system should be, at the very minimum, thinking about the tumultuous near future and what we're going to do. There's going to be no return to normal. A new normal will be a nightmare. There's no way out. The system in its entirety has to be overturned. There is no alternative. Labour, the left liberal establishment, are part of the trash that's got to be swept away in an all-encompassing revolution. Bye.